Hello and welcome to Dominic Winter Auctioneers and uh, to our historic aviation, military and transport sale which we will be holding on the 18th of May here at our South Cerny sale room. Um, today I thought I would just uh, give you a brief um, sort of introduction to a few of, of the lots that are in our sale. Um, the weapons section has a really good uh, collection of Indo-Persian weapons including swords, uh, muskets, uh, shields etc. Uh, we've also got um, a really fine collection of pistols this time around. If I can just show you uh, one example here, we've got a cased uh, pair of duelling pistols, a uh, beautiful mahogany box here, and they're by the renowned gunsmith William Parker. Um, this particular pair, they date to 1815. And what's nice about them is they've got this lovely flintlock action, uh, beautiful brown barrels, um, and what we call a saw butt handle, which is quite uh, unusual in its own right. So a nice case pair of pistols here with accessories, uh, original um, gunsmith's label, and the estimate for this is 12 to 15,000 pounds. Another in interesting piece in the firearm section is this, is this box. Uh, sort of as you see it, it's a sort of standard mid 19th century mahogany and brass bound campaign writing box probably you'd think worth, it's markets down at the moment, 80 to 100 pounds perhaps, one to 150. What's interesting about this box is it's got a secret drawer in it. And if I just carefully open the drawer here, inside you can see a French officer's pistol from the mid 19th century. Beautiful little pieces with the walnut stock and percussion action. And what's actually really nice about this is it's got this silver um, plaque which is engraved with the recipient's details and it's dated November 1856. So it comes complete with all its accessories including um, powder flask etc. And it's just a really nice item. Um, I would say it's probably for the man who has everything but I doubt very much he has one of these. And the estimate for this is three to five thousand pounds. In the medal section of the sale, we've got a good section this time around. Um, some good campaign medals, for example, we've got the Waterloo campaign medal here, um, the Zulu medal, which is always a popular one, and um, we've got a good range of First World War gallantry groups, including distinguished conduct medal groups, etc. And one that I particularly like is this one. And uh, what we've got here is uh, the Turkish Crimea medal. Um, what's unusual about this one is that actually named to Private John Bow of the 17th Lancers. Now anybody sort of knowing their history, 17th Lancers obviously took part in the charge of the Light Brigade um, and here we have a confirmed charger. Um, he was wounded during the charge and sent over to Skatari Hospital and I think this is a very interesting speculative medal and the estimate on this one is five to eight hundred pounds. Another really interesting group is this um, First World War group um, and Second World War. It's beautifully framed here as you can see and it was to an able seaman who had a very uh, interesting naval career. Um, he served during the First World War um, and was present uh, on the ship HMS Marlborough uh, at the Battle of Jutland on the 31st of May 1916. Um, interesting in its own right. Um, then, um, in 1919, uh, after the Tsar had been executed and the Russian Revolution, the remaining Romanov family um, all took exile down in the Crimea. And George V um, sent a ship, HMS Marlborough, over to, um, to uh, evacuate the remaining Romanov family. Um, and here we have um, this recipient who was on the ship at the time. And the cigarette case here is a silver cigarette case engraved to uh, A. Fisher, the recipient, and it was awarded by the Romanov family. So that's really interesting in its own right. But uh, not stopping there, um, during his service during the Second World War, um, he was uh, on a ship and um, got involved in a bitter duel against a German raider. And um, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal. Um, so that is the medal at the end here. So it's a really interesting combination and the estimate for this is three to four thousand pounds. The aviation section as always has some really incredibly uh, interesting and historic lots 
and included in the sale is the second and final part of the late Philip Moyes collection of aviation photographs. A um, bit like last time, we've got them in these cardboard boxes, pretty much in alphabetical order. For example, I just took a random selection here. We've got the Fokkers, um, and if we just take this one out, um, that is an example of some of the photographs included in this lot. Um, we have probably maybe 60 to 70 lots, and the estimates, not huge estimates, they range from between sort of 80 and 200 pounds perhaps, and you get an awful lot for your money. And it's a great collection, and obviously it's the last opportunity for you to buy these. So, bid strong. And finally, we've got lot 767 here. Uh, as you can see, it's an aircraft hangar. Um, we've catalogued it as the historic green Avro hangar. Um, it's a really interesting piece, um, obviously a unique opportunity. How often do you get the opportunity to own your very own First World War aircraft hangar? It's here for sale on the 18th of May, and the estimate is 100 to 150,000 pounds. 